On this Thursday after Ash Wednesday, we find ourselves at the Roman Station Church of San Giorgio in Velabro. Welcome back to Crux Stationalis. Today, the Roman Station Church is dedicated to St. George. The church is located next to the Arch of Janus in the Rione of Ripa, in the ancient Roman Velabrum, the name of the low valley where the church sits at the foot of the Capitoline and the Palatine Hills. Let's enter the church and discover it from the inside. The first religious building attested in the place of the current basilica was a diaconia funded by Pope Gregory I. A diaconia is a church originally administered by a deacon as a center for charitable works. We see along the wall placards noting the eminent cardinals who have been cardinal deacons of San Giorgio and Velabro. For example, Cardinal Alphonse Maria Stickler, a consistent defender of the position that the Trinitine Mass was never forbidden or suppressed, and an advocate for the preservation of priestly celibacy. And here we see the placard for John Henry Cardinal Newman. Brought into the church in 1845 by Blessed Dominic Barbary, an Italian Passionist, Cardinal Newman was recently canonized a saint in 2019. The 13th century fresco in the apse depicts Christ in the second coming, standing on the cosmos, accompanied by the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. George on his horse to the left, and St. Peter and St. Sebastian to the right. The work is now attributed to Cavallini. St. George has a white horse, which is his iconographic attribute. If the horse, for example, is another color, it carries another soldier saint, like the red horse belonging to St. Demetrius. The palm tree next to Christ is a symbol here of the resurrection. The current church was built during the 7th century by Pope Leo II, who dedicated it to St. Sebastian. The church's plan is irregular, indeed slightly trapezoidal, as a result of the frequent additions to the building. The interior columns are almost randomly arranged, having been taken from sundry Roman temples. The church was inside the Greek quarter of Rome, where Greek-speaking merchants, civil and military officers, and monks of the Byzantine Empire lived. The nearby Santa Maria in Cosmedin, for example, was known as in Skoda Greca at the time. Pope Zachary, who was of Greek origin, moved the relic of St. George to here from Cappadocia, so that this saint had a church dedicated in the West, something quite unique in the 8th century, well before the spreading of his veneration with the return of the Crusaders from the East. Through this arched opening underneath the altar, we can see the relics of St. George part of his cranium, the head of his lance, and part of his battle standard. This sort of tile decoration is called cosmetesque. Although built in the 7th century, what we see now in the church is the result of heavy restorations done in the 1920s. The superintendent of Monuments of Rome completed a more radical restoration program with the aim of restoring the building's medieval character and freeing it from later additions. This was done by returning the floor to its original level, and so exposing the column bases, reopening the ancient windows that gave light to the central nave, restoring the apse, 
and generally removing numerous accretions from the other most recent restorations. During this process, fragments now displayed here were found, which indicated that a Scolda Cantorum had existed on the site, attributed to the period of Pope Gregory IV. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday after Ash Wednesday at the Roman Station Church of San Giorgio in Falabro. Please subscribe, like this video, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss one of our videos of the Roman Station Church Linton Itinerary.